Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more insurmountable with less computer beeping. I mean, I, I know you guys probably... I don't think it picked up on the microphone anyway. Everything's fine. Probably. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, we will make it to our summit today and climb our final mountain with the journalist here. I could have sworn there was an event when I did the, the save and exit last time, but maybe it's uh, maybe it was this. Perchance, perchance, perchance. Let's take a moment and reacquaint ourselves with our situation. We do have the ability to get oxygen back, get heat back. We're at max heat anyways. Uh, we have the energy on stone shoes. We did get rid of the ice ones. Uh, we have a torch. That's something to consider for sure. Uh, in addition to having the ability to switch, if we really feel like min-maxing between the hiking staff uh, and the climbing axe for like flat surfaces versus hiking, I just I feel like why why spend all that time? Uh, what are what are the stats that we're gonna care the most about for the remainder of this run? I feel like energy is going to become a problem. I feel like sanity might become a problem. You trudge along the slope piled high with snow. You sink deeper into the drifts of it with every step until suddenly your boot meets resistance. You push the snow aside, assessing the metallic surface with couple mar colored markings on it. Faded. Still identifiable. There's no doubt about it. You found the wing of a downed airplane. Uh, uh, like, I don't care about temp and, temp and time. Like, honestly, if anything, we kind of want to... We kind of want to pass time here. Your dump found in the wing is riddled with bullet holes. Could this be the work of the occupiers? As you contemplate the pilot's fate, you notice a billowing cloud of snow in the near distance. Avalanche, you grab your gear and bolt. Take cover. Take cover achievement. Survive an avalanche. Oh, okay. Uh, fair enough. So the peak is up there. I I think that we could probably... It's Okay, so it's two, two days to the summit. What does it take to get to this cave? Is it... Okay, it's actually not bad. Uh... Let's do this. Let's check out this event. We'll be able to hit that at nighttime. I don't know that we ever even get experience from these monuments regardless. But we will go and we will find out, won't we? Uh, let's take a second to switch to this since there's a large stretch... Of not too high. I, I believe that this is probably a one height differential. Maybe maybe it's two. But I mean it's not worth min-maxing any further than that. Uh yeah. Okay, bring this bad boy back. Because time does matter. Wait, we're gaining heat? We wait, we lost when did we lose heat? I don't even know. Oh, the event. The event. Sanity or energy? We are definitely, even though that it is not a super high amount, we definitely want to go for sanity here uh, to make up for the sanity that we lost coming over here, probably. As you stand under the deformed skeleton of a tree, you look up a stif and stifle a scream. A parachute is tangled in the treetop. Dangling from its cords are the mortal remains of an unknown man. Uh, again... I don't hate time getting past here. Pull the body down. Climb the tree to take a closer look. Let's pull the body down. The dead man is wearing a uniform military. Did it die in the line of duty? Maybe he has a family waiting for him. You're overwhelmed with grief. Grief and shame. Oh, that sounds like a uh, sanity loss. Because the dead soldier is carrying supplies you desperately need. You dismiss your pangs of guilt. And tuck his equipment into your pack. Oh, a medallion. Oh. Minus sanity, but also a massive, massive energy energy gain. Uh, near the summit, that's probably going to be really helpful. I don't know that I'm I don't know that I'm going to put it on too much, uh, too often here. But for now, I think it's okay. Uh, follow the light. God, I want to get a dang uh, one of these caves that I, I can actually use my torch on. We lose no sanity. We do bring ourselves closer to the uh, the stormy day coming up. But 
you know, it's fine. We, we thrive in the night. We are a creature of the night. Uh, but we also have single minded we can utilize. Oh, it looks so cool at night. All right, whenever you reach a point of interest, gain some energy. Gain some oxygen when moving on snow. There is a lot of snow near the summit. Plus 80 max energy. I think that probably is a combined one with the other, so it's probably actually only plus 40, because we already have plus 40 from this. Uh... If we do this, then we will... I I'm thinking there's no chance that we ever have to even contemplate body temperature for the rest of the entire run. That's what would happen if we click this, because we would slowly be we'll slowly be gaining it up to the maximum of 180. I can't imagine us needing to think about it ever again. Uh, which could be good because then we could we could um, we could wear our gloves until we get to the point where we're at max again at 180, and then we can switch our gloves over to the ones that make it so we use less energy. Uh, we could do significantly increase energy and then take a big old nap, I guess. Gain some oxygen back while moving on snow, though. What's that sound? Okay. I'm really confused about what I want to do here. This seems pretty good, though. 10 energy gain whenever wait whenever you're wait also plus 10 energy gain in events that actually seems really good that seems really good all right so uh what do we got to do danger levels there i don't know what kind oh no no danger levels We'll be generally flat foot in there. Let's do it. Send it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my single minded all the way. Well. Eh. There's so many so many free events. We are so close. We we've got this in the bag. We are we are busted OP. We are a juggernaut of the mountain. Ruler of the peak. I mean, we have the sanity. We've got the beans if we need them. Okay, so if we just click the top, we are going to run past. That's a lot of events right there that we could do. What does this look like? I don't believe that. For real? That's. Wait, what? How is that all we use? What the heck? What the hell, man? The sanity is going to maybe be an issue, especially if we if we continue to spend a lot of time. Sanity is our biggest bottleneck right now. So, as much as I want to cheese farm all of this, I think we need to start heading to the summit. I I think we do. We're a couple of a couple of bad events away from a prom. Health or warmth. I I literally gained nothing from that, so... Did we get... Wait, did we get energy? I didn't even notice. Gosh, I'm such a dinkus. I'm such a darn dinkus! But maybe, uh... Maybe this... Maybe this will give us some... Sanity. Typically those events are pretty good, I think. Uh, you reach a small plateau with monoliths arranged in a circle. Remnants of an ancient culture. A figurine is standing in a cloak, crouching on the ground, uh, muttering something unintelligible. They rise and knock over the stone pillars one by one. I watch the figure. Something strange about the figure. You're filled with fear. Oh, God. Nevertheless... Oh, nevertheless, you are unable to take your eyes off them. Eventually, you notice... They notice you give an angry look. You want to say something, but you can't get your words out. Then they hurry away, leaving you bewildered. 
Why does that give me sanity? I feel like that was a mistake. I'm going for single-minded because it is about to become uh, the bad weather day here. I'm not doing it. I can't sacrifice my... Um, I can't sacrifice my sanity right now. That's the one thing we really have to hold on to uh, aggressively. Got the cold day coming up. Doesn't really matter. I don't think it's going to affect us that much more than a regular day. Uh, we can trade... Energy for body tap. Again, I really wish we could just do the exact opposite. A flock of migratory birds fly over your head. You gop incredulously as the animals change formation, make shapes in the heavens. Heavens. Migratory birds are extremely rare at these altitudes, but the sight of them warms your heart. The birds slowly disappear on the horizon. You think about all the mysteries and inexplicable things you've encountered during your journey. Are they the result of natural phenomena? Are they anomalies? Or could you... Could the mysterious occupiers be behind them all? You still don't understand what's happening here, but something inside you tells you that you will find what you are looking for. Oh, blessed bee! Oh, it's beautiful! Okay, so there's the peak up there. <laughs> In case you forgot, it's up there. All right, well, that, that is huge. Uh, a 20%, 20% of our bar is what we got right there. That's massive. Large. Clear a path. Oh, this is the one we saw. Uh, around hatch the ground. Takes you a few seconds to fully take in the strange discovery you made. I'm gonna knock. You pound the hatch with your fist. Nothing happens. You pound it shut again. Louder this time. No one answers. The hatch remains firmly shut. You see some numbers on the top. It says 4, 8, 15, 20. No. Uh, it's probably some sort of bunker that occupiers abandoned long ago. You decide to move on. Okay. Well. Okay, that is not how I thought I would have to get here. Is it perchance worth it? It's really just the time that doesn't help us with the energy. Oh, we already have this on. I, I this whole time we've been gaining, we've been gaining heat, and we had this on anyways. We are really, really close to starting to um, have to deal with oxygen. It's a lot of events. It is a lot of events. I really want to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> this is stupid. This is dumb. I, I can make some dumb decisions. This might be our last episode here. I can make some dumb decisions. I can do that if I want to. I can leave my friends behind. This is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. It's not even funny. I just There's a pocket of three, and then there's an additional pocket of three. And in theory, we can gain ten energy every time we touch one. Right? Or are these not all points of interest? Is this is a point of interest only one of these? I don't know. These are the things that we will find out right now. And there's a cave. Three more points of interest. Four more points of interest. This is, I think, indirectly actually a good idea disguised as a very, very dumb idea. No, yeah, every single one of these is going to give it to me. Uh, I don't need any torches. Thank you. Okay, search the camp. I'm, I'm disappointed. I don't want to sacrifice sanity right now. Northern Lights, what a sight! Oh, baby. Well, that could have been better, but, you know, could have been worse, too. Could have been worse, too. Hopefully, this cave will have torches in it. Uh, it's kind of a bummer that we're going to probably be sleeping through the night with it. Uh, the air is getting thin. Your breath heavy. Arms spaghetti. You've entered the death zone. You pause for a minute. 
Uh, I feel like the 24 hours of oxygen while moving is a good idea. Or we could just... Uh, I don't know. All of these are pretty good. If we're sleeping, this is useless. If we're sleeping, this is not as useful, but still good. Uh, this could be helpful. I mean, eight. Eight is nice. I don't think we're... I think, like, seeing where I'm at, I don't think that there's going to be a problem with sanity anymore. Uh, so I guess I will go with the oxygen situation. We could put on the mask. Uh, what does ours do? Warmth. No, it's me in the middle. We'll do it. We'll do a, a small sleep here. Me in the middle. I wish we put on the dang mask. But there we go. All right. We're still losing it, right? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So it goes, so it goes. I don't have single-minded, so what can I say, you know? What can I say except whoopsie? Whoa. Remnants of a wall, weathered stone wolf's head that stares at you with lifeless eyes. Uh, 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 fine. You're standing by the delicate craftsmanship. How old must this wolf's head be? One thing is clear, what people once lived here and erected impressive structures, but what kind of civilization was it? And why have you never heard of them? As you ruminate on the many unanswered questions, your eyes wander to a small chest. You find valuable equipment inside. Ah, it's the ice booties. I think I can deal with this. At the very least, I can put it on right now. Ooh, beans. Well, we have to pass through that anyways, right? We're gaining temp. So if we're gaining temp right now, we can't, we're probably not going to lose too much. God, I really wish we could have single-minded on. Oh, we got lucky anyways. Okay, thank God. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That could have been bad. Gentle search. Oh, baby. Okay, sure. Plus 45 oxygen. What are we missing? It's like, it's it's close to perfect. You know what? Nice. I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with that being the situation. Deep crevice. Uh, hidden behind uh, just some shrubbery. It's a fur pouch. Might have belonged to a hunter. Let's take a look. It's got an amulet. Plus 0.3 sanity, but 100 extra energy cost on all terrain whoa whoa these are not made equal wow not even close to made equal i can't really picture myself wanting to use that at this point i can't picture myself wanting to use that all right, uh, so. Take myself there. It's, it's generally flat footing, right? Generally. All right, you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take ourselves there. Uh, time does matter quite a bit right now. Time does matter to us. We need to be very careful with it. Could go awry quite quickly. I wish there was a clear path to this, but it looks like it's a, it's looks like we have to go all the way up and all the way back and around. It's, it's very, very not that good. Minus energy for body temp. I don't think that we're going to need to use that, but oh no. Oh 
Oh, boy. I don't like any of this. We could skip it, then. We have an oxygen tank. We have a thermos. But sanity is the problem. And there's not that much of it. You know what? That's fine. The crevasse is not very deep. You climb down effortlessly. We did lose some more morale there. Uh, plus oxygen minus body temp. That's usable. Not great right now. But it's fine. Shall I? I shall. To ignore this cold weather. So we'll start gaining temp back uh, just fine there. I'm hoping that this right here is going to be a morale situation, a sanity situation. All right. We shouldn't have to worry about that danger. This should still be on. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. And then we can pick up the uh, that shrine... If this doesn't have something that'll give us um, sanity, then maybe the other one will. And again, we have the herbs. If we need them, we can finally bust them out. Doesn't have to be that big of a deal. You discover a tree. You do not know how it could survive at this altitude, but the sight of it comforts you. Let's go. Take some time. To, time for sanity. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's that's maybe. When you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain 15 energy. Bonus time cost, but uh, that one actually might be pretty good. I'm not like I'm not like over the moon excited about any of these. This one is tempting right now. Hmm. You know what is honestly probably the way to go. I think we should take careful steps. I think we should take careful steps. Try and make sure that we don't have any, like, surprise, whoops, health kills, you know? Make sure that that does not happen. Oh, we're so close. Steps have been hewn into the stone. They need to have pedestal of short health or energy. Uh, here's the thing. Energy gets really strict up top. I think I'm actually going to go with that. Like, if I... Because having to stop... And I mean, like, this is... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, man. It, it, it's so well shown by the in-game mechanics. Like, having to stop in this is a problem. Like, it's a really big problem. Uh, Bonus time cost on all-terrain. Eh. So this this is the place where we would use our um, our food. Boy, howdy, that's a that's a trek though. I mean, how else are we gonna do it though, right? I, well, I guess we could go up over there. Minus energy cost on ice. That might be better. I don't know if there's any really good ways where we can avoid. Okay, so then it's going to be a clear day after that. We probably won't have to worry about the temp anymore. That'll just start climbing. I think that we... I think I was right. I think we're, we're done being worried about the uh, about the temp for the rest of the run. I, I guess we just say... Please don't kill me. The fact that this only uses 2.7 energy is just crazy to me. We have really become very overpowered in this mountain climbing game. All right, here's the first chance for Danger. Okay. We got a couple more chances for Danger. Yeah, beans. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It, it looks bad, but I would I would much rather take that penalty. 
much rather take that penalty because we are about to enter uh yeah look at that our hp is it's, it's now going up so does this work is this this whole time okay oh my god it's dangerous though no do i, do I want it Okay, well, we lucked out anyways. Uh, I will step over one tile to this side. Breath is taken away, towering in front of you, and the slope is bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow and several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call out, but nobody answers. Approach the camp, check the slope. That's probably going to lead us to us falling. Tent. Slowly approach the camp. The ice crunches beneath your boots. Every step could be your last. You close your eyes. You reach your goal. The camp has been abandoned with not a soul in sight. They surely left long ago. You rummage through the things they left behind. Find some equipment. Your efforts were not in vain. You say that and yet. And yet. Oh, wow. Wait, we've been gaining. We're gaining body temp anyways, huh? All right. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just do that. Oh, we're so close. Said, wait, can we really? We can reach the summit. Is that true? Like I would, I, I kind of want to do this, but that would uh, that would extend the penalty of these by two x. One would think. Might as well. All righty then. Start going, right? Cross my fingers. When we reach six hours here, we will obviously want to use our single minded event here. Our single minded ability. We could uh, we could actually stop. What's the... How many dangerous events are left? Or are we... They're done? Wait. Did we just... Did we just do it? Or, or am I missing an event? I feel like I'm missing an event. Wow. I... <laughs> we have all of these resources left? This strat, though... It's good. It was good. It was a good strategy, I think. I think we really, really did a great a great job farming up our abilities before we actually made it towards the peak here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stop. Are we going to get this? Do we get it if we pass through it? I've, I've never been able to test that out. I think we Okay, that's I figured I figured as much. Provisions. Oh my god, it's just even easier, huh? It's just even easier. Up I go. We don't have to climb back down either. We could have handled it too. We really could have. I didn't get to use my torch. We just have so much energy, so many ways to to just for it to take less out of us to climb. I this is genuinely taking us to the mountaintop. Just like that. Up we go then. 
Wow. We will be going through that event. One final event for the road. I can see something sticking out. Oh, no. Oh, it's a human hand. I will search for the rest of the body. You dig around. Spot something in the light recess of nearby rock. It's a knife blade dull. Yeah. Thank you very much. I will drink it. I will eat the celebratory can of beans. And we will move on up to our peak. We've done it. God, it, we we really became so strong that the, I think the game got... This run, the game got easier as we went on because of how well prepared we were early. You trudge up to the summit, exhausted, haggard, but alive. Your thoughts are in turmoil. What will you find up here? Maybe a secret base or the remains of a radar system sending out interference? That would explain why the existence of the island remained a secret for so many years. And the concrete foundation you discovered on the last summit? Were they planning to construct a another facility there? And why? Did they want to control the weather? Or was it for mind control? Your imagination runs wild. What? <laughs> the more you think about it... Sorry, I just got an achievement. The, the more you think about it, the dizzier you get, the mist clears. Reality hits you like a fist to the face. No antennas, no station. You scramble to the ground, searching under every rock, sticking your fingers into the cracks. Wait, there's something here. You can feel a box, rectangular, with buttons and a dial, some sort of gauge or measuring instrument. You press the buttons, but nothing happens. It's not much, but at least you can write a story about it. You'll talk about a mysterious aggressor, experimenting with cutting-edge technologies to rule the world from up here in secrecy of the mountain. Of course, you'll have to embellish the story a bit here and there, but uh, who's going to check? You didn't win the Pulitzer Prize, but your book about what you discovered in the mountains has been at the top of all of the bestseller lists for months. Insurmountable! The story of how Batman scaled a mountain. Not bad. Not bad. 28 days. Scars, yep. Equipment, all kinds of good stuff. Really, just an all-around great, great, powerful run. Very, very fun. Oh, Nighttime King. Yeah, we ended up getting a lot of stuff in these other categories too, but... Uh, yeah, Night Owl. Getting Night Owl right away was crazy strong. Um... Both of those really good. I wish we could have got more of those, but I think that we needed to pick warm up before we could start to get more. Uh, yeah, a lot of really fun abilities that we got to utilize there. Congrats, you've unlocked hard mode for the journalist. Da da da. Well, alas, gang, that is that, and that is going to do it for now. Uh. Unless something major changes, I think this will probably be the last episode of Insurmountable for now. At the very least, if there's any big updates, I'd be super excited to come back. I really enjoy this game. Maybe, hell, maybe we'll even play it on Twitch or something over at uh, twitch.tv slash Retromation. We could maybe do uh, our, our full adventure run over there or something like that. Uh, but alas, that is that. And that is going to do it here. I love the game. I, I think it is a really, really special game. Shockingly fun for, like, you look at it and you're like, grids, stat bars, eh, maybe, you know? But truthfully, there's something, there's something's just so gripping about it. There's something so gripping about this game. I think it is truly special. Uh, and I think, I think the world, I think Steam, the world, I think it needs more more non like not that like i'm not saying like it's a problem to have like violent rogue like in the sense where it's always about fighting and everything but i think the world needs more uh combat less roguelikes too i feel like it's such a good genre Ro like roguelikes are such a great genre obviously like otherwise i wouldn't be able to make an entire channel centered around them basically but there's just so much unexplored territory like what where when did everybody get it in their head that 95% of roguelikes need to be about combat, you know? There's so much unexplored territory in this game. I I think is really a, a very shining example uh, of that and how you can take these things and really adapt them super well into a game. Like 
you you tell me uh, it's a roguelike about climbing a mountain you know but until you play and like you really feel it and you feel this like emergent storytelling of your your trek to the top as tumultuous or shockingly strong as it may be uh it's still it, it's so special and it feels like the way that they translated these systems from mountain climbing to actual gameplay elements they all it just it makes sense it makes so much sense and it should be done more that's all i'm getting at it should be done more this game is so special what a great idea so well executed i cannot wait to see more uh It'd be really cool if they added like Steam Workshop support for adding new events or something. I think that'd be really cool because uh, it's one of those things where it, the amount of effort for like if the modding system gets set up, amount of effort for someone to make a custom pack like or something, it maybe wouldn't be too bad. Like obviously, like adding on to this game in its normal capacity, everything like that, I think would be really great, really uh, wonderful, and I cannot wait to see where they take it. I think the possibilities for custom mod packs for events or even characters or abilities and things would be uh, the amount of possibilities for that is super high too. Like, you know, you could have, uh, you could introduce like much more. They, they dabble with it here and there, but you could introduce like a lot of paranormal elements with a, with a mod pack or something like that, that uh, would be really, really fun. There's just a lot of areas where this game could go in the future. And I hope that you enjoyed our time with it. And uh, I hope to be back at it again playing Insurmountable because I, I really, really enjoyed this. Thank you everybody for humoring me and checking out this game with me and spending your time with me while I climb a fictional freaking mountain. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day and I will see you next time. Bye.